What's up, weirdos? Remember in my very first gardening video, I said I was interested in other things and you would see videos about those things? Well, I am into the gaming. Yes, uh, I really enjoy the survival genre uh, of gaming, and uh, we're going to play one of those games today. It, the game is called Mist Survival. It's an early access game. And uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's set in the uh, Pacific Northwest. There is a mist that comes in and it brings all kinds of zombies uh, during the daytime. And then, of course, they come out at night and try to eat you. Uh, so definitely very terrifying. And uh, that's the game that we're going to start playing. I'm going to try to do like a series of it. Uh, we'll see. And uh, yeah, uh, should be a lot of fun. I'm definitely into this genre. Um, actually, basically any kind of self-reliance, survival type of thing. Uh, I'm into that in real life and I'm definitely into uh, the games as well. So uh, we're gonna get into that. Uh, so the first thing you want to do when you come in, this is our base as you can see, uh, you can make this your active base if you just click on that. We're not gonna do that though because well I don't really want this to be my base. I want an actual building to sleep in because those zombies will come out and of course there are other things besides zombies there are bandits and uh, you, you have to take them out not on a date but uh, you know what I mean oh here we go these are bags bag upgrade that gives us extra slots and you have lots of slots here available you gotta find all these backpacks uh, we can press F to loot all so we got a bit of an inventory now and uh, yeah, you want to uh, take out the bandits because there are hostages there and uh, survivors that you can save. And we're going to continue along here. See what we can find. I've been uh, watching a lot of people play this game uh, on YouTube. And uh, it's a really cool game. And uh, you know, I've been playing it for a couple months now and I thought I'd make a series out of it in addition to all the garden videos and don't worry you're still going to get lots of gardening videos it's still pretty early in the spring so you know can't do a whole lot with that right now I'm not going in there oh my gosh no look at all of those infected those are the zombies uh, you definitely don't want to deal with them especially since we don't have anything to defend ourselves with except for a saw <laughs> that's not gonna help I don't think Alright, we're going to come over here, check this out. There might be some stuff in here. Let's see what we got. Oh, no, nothing. Uh, these, you can sometimes find spark plugs and batteries. Maybe you find an engine. I don't know if I've ever found an engine. Uh, but there's also gas here. And if you can find the gas can, you can fill this up and uh, siphon gas from it. And you can actually put that in a vehicle. And that's one of the first things we're going to want to do is uh, get ourselves a vehicle. Uh, but like with any survival game, the most important thing is food, water, and shelter, and obviously something to defend yourself with. Oh, look at that. We've got some gloves. If we go over here to equipment. We can go ahead and equip these. Uh, you can uh, equip different things like a uh, helmet uh, and hats. I don't think there's hats in here. I know there's helmets. Uh, there are bulletproof vests. You can get a quiver for like a bow and arrow. There's boots. You can put a shirt on, gloves. Uh, pants, there are no pants in the game. At least not as of right now. Um, again, it's an early access game. So, uh, you know, he's constantly updating it. But, uh, yeah, no pants right now. So I'm assuming we're just running around naked. And whenever you have all your other clothes on, well, everything but the pants. That's interesting <laughs> so we're gonna go over here now I don't think there's any zombies in this area in fact I know there's none because uh, I made this my base when I first started playing this game okay we're gonna check this out anything in here I think there's a gas can in here if I'm not mistaken just gotta remember where there's some components excellent components are very important in this game uh, same thing with the scrap metal and uh, there's a bottle there. We're not going to pick up the bottles right now. Uh, bottles are really useful for lights and uh, building lights. Uh, you can use them for uh, making alcohol. And alcohol is really helpful because uh, 
You combine that with these rags that I'm picking up, and those will make bandages. Um, but like I said, we don't really need that right now. Oh, we got some 12 gauge ammo. That's wonderful. More food. Great. Our inventory's got to be getting pretty full now. Oh yeah, we're full. We're completely full. All right. Um, I think there's another backpack in here somewhere. There is. Yes. All right, sweet. So that's a couple more slots, and is there a gas can? Wait, there is, excellent. So there's a gas can, what we got right here, revolver ammo, okay. We don't have a revolver. We don't have any gun, in fact. And uh, we got some food here, but I don't think we have any space. And we're just gonna have to leave that for now. Uh, the good news is if you leave stuff, it will stay. If you drop things, they most likely will stay on the ground. So you can you can always come back and get it later. So as of right now, we don't have any inventory space left. So uh, main thing right now is to find a place where we can stay, a place that has a locker or something like that. Um, let's see, where can we stay? Do, 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 do. Uh, you can pull up your um, your your attributes, basically your health, your hunger, your thirst, fatigue, and stamina. Stamina goes down pretty quick, uh, especially when you're running across the map. That's why a vehicle comes in handy. Looks like we got a cabin over here. Okay, this will work. I'm pretty sure there's a locker in these cabins. Do, 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 do. Uh, these cars right here, you can actually smash them up. Uh, you can use an axe, or you can use a sledgehammer. The sledgehammer is really the best thing to use, uh, but again, it's it's hard to get. There's a you gotta base. There's basically there's a mine a mine in this game, and uh, oh come on, get in there. I'm gonna have to rotate this. Uh, there's a mine in this game, and what, you, what you'll do is you'll just go to the mine and get all the uh, ingredients for making the sledgehammer. And you make that, and boy, it really comes in handy uh, compared to using an axe, because an axe, using an axe on those cars, it goes down pretty quick. You lose your hit points very fast. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put some of this stuff in here. All right, uh, biofuel, yeah, put that in there. We'll put the matches in here. We're going to put the rags and the duct tape in here as well. And, uh, yeah, painkillers, we don't really need those right now. More food. I think I'm going to keep some of the food on me. In fact, yeah, we're going to keep gonna keep one food on us. I'm going to put the metal scraps in there. Components in here. Okay, perfect. And we're going to keep this with us. And, dang. There is... Oh, we got a knife here. Excellent. We're going to put that in here, number two. Anything back here? Nothing back there. Okay. So, we are going to make this our base for the time being. And again, I don't think I'm going to stay here, you know, permanently. But uh, this is definitely a place we can start out at. We gotta walk, we gotta look out because there is a bear around here somewhere. Uh, that's a gas station right there, and uh, the bear is not very forgiving. No, he's very mean, and he will attack you if you get too close to him. I got some rocks there. I'm just gonna put those in here for now. Oh, no space in there. We'll go ahead and put it in here. Storage is something you really gotta watch out for early on in this game because there's a lot of loot and not a whole lot of storage so when you come across lockers the one thing you absolutely want to do is grab them and take them back to your base so we're definitely going to do that and again another thing we're going to be doing is looking for parts for the vehicle and there's there's two different types of vehicles in this game there's this which is a uh, you know nice little SUV uh, if you open up the back it's got storage in it uh, I would recommend getting the truck because the truck you can stock things in the back of it. I don't 
don't have room for winter gloves, so we're just going to leave that for now. Yeah, you can stock things up in the back of a truck. There's ooh, a little bit of gas in here. Okay, this is very important. Take the can out whenever you're done. I see a lot of people put the can in there and they forget about it. And then they go halfway across the map and they realize they don't have their gas can. <laughs> so always remember, take the can out. All right, another thing we're going to be looking for is branches. Uh, and the reason why you'll find out later. Oh, some leaves right there. Okay. Check in here. See what we got. We got some more metal scraps. Okay, excellent. Okay, more components. Great. Check inside of here. Anything in here? Nothing in there. Sewing kit. There's a hammer, some more rags. And uh, you can't you can't loot these bottom drawers. So unfortunate, but that's just the way it is. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, we got some more ammo. That's rifle ammo. Don't have a gun yet, but uh, we're we're piling up some ammo right now. Some more wood, we'll pick up that. And uh, yep, another rock. Okay. We'll pick those up on our way back to our our little cabin over here. And uh, a little trick that you can do when you're looking for things on the ground, you can actually go in to your menu and you'll go down to options and graphics. And what you'll do is you'll turn the effects, or actually no, you'll turn the foliage all the way down. Um, I wouldn't do that though. I'm, or I'm not going to do that just because I think the game looks better without it. Like if I absolutely need to find something, I'll turn it off. But uh, early in the game, we want this game to look good. It's an awesome game. Uh, so I'm just going to leave that on. Go in here. Uh, we have an issue with storage right now. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Can I put these? Yeah, I can put some scrap in here. Uh, anything that stacks in here. Yeah, we can put that there. Wow. Put that stuff in there. Um, we're going to go ahead and craft up a spear. But first I'm going to close this door just in case. You never know. You never know what could be out there waiting for you to kill you or do something horrible to you. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our menu and let's see, weapons. You can see these are different things that you can craft. There's sticks, uh, firewood wood, uh, lashings, which is rope. Uh, you can uh, make dry meat, but you also need the salt for that. Uh, basic torch, soil sack, sleeping bag, bandages. Again, bandages come in very handy. Uh, you can make arrows and spears. That's what we're going to craft right now. We're going to craft up one spear. Since we don't have a gun, a spear comes in handy. And uh, you can make wooden shields. You can make uh, sulfur powder, saltpeter powder, gunpowder. And you need uh, a mortar and pestle for that. And you can also uh, make stuff for chickens. Yes, you, there are chickens in the game. Uh, there's gardening in the game. Not a whole lot, but, uh, you know, it's a start. Again, it's, it's an early access game, so uh, still we're, n we're probably nowhere near the final product. So that's, that's pretty exciting. And, uh, again, we've got to look out for the bear. He could be anywhere. This is always dangerous over here. Okay, I'm going to go up this direction. And uh, how much room do we have in our inventory? We don't have a whole lot, actually. Let's see, can I put the hammer down here? Probably not. Oh, I can! <laughs> okay, cool. Alright, we're going to check this out over here. There's usually an axe or something over here. Okay. 
can't get up there for some reason. Let's see, is that, there's some components, for, or actually that's scrap metal. What do we got here? Lashings, rope. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, if you see rope, pick it up. Because rope is... It's one of those things that's just annoying to make because you got to find leaves, you got to find uh, tree bark for that. All right, we got some tomato sauce. We got our beef can. Okay, we're gonna take our axe. We're gonna put it down here and uh, keep the hammer here. Wow, inventory is filling up really quickly. Some more wood. Yep. More scrap metal. Excellent. Again, we're just going to leave those empty bottles. We don't really need them right now. More rags. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Yep, more ammo. Let's see. Can we get up on top of here? Is there anything up here? Nothing over here. There might be something over on that side. Oh, almost got hurt there. You can get hurt very easily in this game. You fall off the edge somewhere and... Uh, you break your ankle, the zombies can kill you very easily, the bandits can kill you very easily. Oh, I got an upgrade. Excellent. More room in our inventory. That's another thing, you know, get those upgrade bags as quickly as you can because that gives you more inventory room and, uh, and once you get that vehicle, that, that really speeds things up. So, again, we're going to be looking for tires, we're going to be looking for spark plugs, batteries, engines, and again, if we see any more of those cars that are just kind of sitting there, uh, we'll go ahead and take gas from those. Let's see if we got anything over here. Another rock, I don't really, I don't need the rocks right now. I do need to get branches and stuff. Blueberries, we're not going to pick those up. They give you a little bit of food, but you, you need you honestly need a lot of blueberries for them to be... Ooh, a feather. I'm not going to pick that up right now. You need a lot of blueberries for them to actually bring up your, your food. More food here. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and eat something. Let's see. This will give me both thirst and hunger, so... Um, yeah. Whoop. Eat that. Alright, so that gave us some thirst, it gave us some hunger. Alright. Again, more rags, more wood over here. Wow. Oh my gosh. Um. I'm running out of space. I'm almost out of space. Um, I can pick that up. Can pick that up, probably. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, we're going to have to leave some of this stuff here and come back, unfortunately. There's a lot of feathers over here. Okay, well, we'll keep moving. Uh, there is... Can I pick that up? I can pick that up. Excellent. There is a uh, another cabin over here, and I know it has another locker, so we're going to come over here, and we are going to steal the locker. And uh, I am looking out for that mist, because that mist can come in at any time, and it's always pretty scary. Do, 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 do. Alright, so here we go. Here's a locker. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start putting some of this stuff in here. And uh, yeah, we'll put this in here too, and that'll be good. Alright, and we're just going to pick this up. Go ahead and move it out. And uh, let's see what else do we got. There's a feather there. Oh, an axe. Excellent. So we got a second axe. Uh, these, you can actually move these as well. They're water barrels, and uh, they will store water for you. 
we're definitely going to come back and get these for sure. Um, let's see, anything else around here? Anything on the table? There's another knife. Excellent. We'll take that as well. And again, another thing I'm looking for, I'm looking for branches uh, around all these trees. Sometimes the only thing you can do is just chop the trees down, because that'll give you branches. Oh, it's a fake. It's a fake. All right. So we're going to head back down to our cabin down here. Try not to hurt ourselves on the way down. Try not to get mauled by the bear. Yeah, pretty good start so far. Again, haven't seen any parts for the cars except for the gas can, so that's a little bit worrisome. I'd like to have a, uh, I'd like to have a vehicle at some point within the first couple of episodes because it does make things a lot quicker. Okay, can I get down here without getting hurt? Yes. Okie dokie. Go ahead and place that. Grab this and put it in here. So we've got two lockers that are completely full. Go ahead and rotate this. Can we place it right there? Yes. Well, we can place this right up against the wall. Okay. We can put this one on this side. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, cool. Uh, one thing you got to watch out for, these windows, not these ones, but the ones that are boarded up, uh, don't put anything in front of those. Uh, because the zombies, they'll break these, and they'll hit your lockers, and they'll destroy them, and you'll lose everything that's in them. I've seen it happen to people, and uh oh Okay, well, we're going to hang out right here for now. Because it looks like we've got ourselves a mist coming in. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is save the game. So I don't want to have to redo all that stuff. And, uh, well, if we absolutely have to, we can hang out in here. Um, let's see, what do we got? How many sticks do we have? Do we have any sticks in there? Nope. We've got three sticks, so we don't really have enough sticks to make livestock fence. Uh, something you'll want to do is actually make livestock fence, and uh, you can access it here, somewhere, right down here. Uh, you can see it takes four sticks and two components, and uh, those, you can put them in the windows, basically, and uh, the zombies, they can't get over those. They can't get through them, they can't get over them, so it's you know, kind of a nice little hack that you can use. And yep, we are under a mist right now. This is when the zombies come out. It gets pretty scary. And we don't really have a whole lot to defend ourselves with, so... Let's see what we got. We've got a knife, we've got an axe, we've got a spear. That's not going to do a whole lot against these guys, so... Let's uh, pray that they don't see us, and... Uh, yeah, we'll do some inventory management while we wait. I'm going to go ahead and put this wood right here. Got some more wood, we'll put it in here. Take all this food out of this locker. I, th I think we're going to try to have one locker designated for just food. Okay, there's our ammo right there. We'll go ahead and put this stuff in here. more components. Again, components are like gold in this game. Components and uh, scrap metal. You need them. You need them for a lot of things. Okay. Uh, I can put some of this stuff in here. Let's see. All right, we'll put components in there. have any more components in here. Right, I got some scrap metal in here though. Okay, we'll take that. And we'll go ahead and put that there. We'll take this knife, put it here. 
Uh, you can repair the knives. Um, there's a lot of things that you can repair. It seems like it's almost just, it's almost not worth it. It's almost better to just remake those things. Uh, we don't have the ability to craft those things here, though, I don't think. I think you need a workbench for those things, either a workbench or an anvil. And uh, we don't have any of those with us right now. Oh, we got some more food. Put this food in here. And uh, I think we'll put the painkillers there. Take these antibiotics. A lot of this stuff stacks, so that's really nice, except for the food. The food doesn't stack. So that's why it really needs its own locker. Okay. Go in here, put these rags in here. Uh, ropes. Let's try to make this somewhat organized. Some duct tape, okay, cool. Sewing kits, can put those there. Oh, more rags, cool. And uh, let's see. I'm gonna take the ammo and put it right there. Put the matches here. And uh, let's see, what else can we put in here? We can put these leaves in here. Okay. And now. And the reason I'm crouching right now, I, just, I don't want those zombies to, zombies to see me. Are there any out there right now? And if they see you, they're going to come running towards you. I don't see them right now. It's always a little bit scary when you can't see them. You don't know where they're at. Oh, there's one out there. Yeah, I mean, if he was somewhat close to the cabin and he was the only one around I might go out there and try to sneak up on him and kill him from behind but uh, I'm not going to do that right now because I don't really have I don't really have uh, really quite honestly I don't have any kind of weapon well a knife would do but I need a backup weapon just in case things go horribly wrong and uh, at the moment we don't have a gun so that's pretty much the reason I'm not going to go out there. <laughs> uh, we got another stick right here. We can actually craft a spear. Um, oh boy, let's see. We got three knives with us. Ooh, scary sounds. Scary sounds. Scary sounds. I'm going to go in here and hope they don't see me or hear me. Yep, we're going to do that. All right, we're just going to chill in here for the moment. And, uh,. One thing we can do, we can make some sticks that'll help pass the time. Craft, yes, very good. Okay, so we got some sticks. We will go ahead and make another spear. It's always good to have a backup. That'll take 20 minutes. Cool. All right, so yeah, I've heard them, but I'm not sure where they're at now. You out there? I know you're out there. Honestly, these this can get really scary when there's a lot of them out there. And it's hard to know, at least from here, how many are out there right now. Probably only one or two. Um, let's see. We will put this other knife in here. We don't necessarily need it. And uh, I'll keep this spear with us. Actually, mm, yeah, we'll keep it with us. Uh, the saw is great for cutting wood. And uh, another axe. You know what? I'm going to switch these axes. Actually, no, they're both 100%. Okay. I was looking at the hammer. Hammer's only 50. All right. And uh, is there anything else that I can do to pass the time? Eh, probably not. I think we're pretty much... I think we're pretty much done for the time being. It looks like the mist is ending, so... Uh, you know, I think that's going to be a good place to leave off for now. We'll catch you with the next episode, and uh, after that we'll go and do some more looting. And uh, who knows what else? Who knows what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. So that'll be it for episode one of Miss Survival. I'll see you later. Goodbye!